uh, allegations uh, of sex discrimination based on the record, the disciplinary record of the university, where there was actual allegations uh, in the form of an affidavit attached to the complaint that provided statistical proof, but just a broad, conclusory statement that males are uh, are found uh, are invariably found. It doesn't say what happened to females, and that was the problem that the. Um, right, but does the complaint have to allege all of that? I mean, I, I, you know, that sort of, sort of seems to be something that gets developed factually later. I mean, you know, um, we are at 12B6. You know, um, another factor that I have that, that other circuits have recognized way in on the Title IX <coughs> issue is the fact of the Department of Education investigation into Arizona State's um, uh, procedures and investigation of sexual assault on campus. Well, yes, and, the, and the, the argument now seems to be that this somehow put pressure right. on the university. And this argument, let's, first of all, I would point out, this is a brand new argument never made in the district court. But it was made in, it's an allegation in the complaint. It is, it's, but it's a, it's a new argument. But, but uh, the cases that have said that, uh, that pressure on the university is relevant have said you have to have more, that that's not enough to push a complaint over the line of plausibility. Um, and if you look, I keep going back to the University of Oregon case because that's the one published decision of, of the Ninth Circuit on this. And there was much greater pressure on the university there, not a generalized pressure. Yes, uh, theoretically, it's possible that the Department of Education can, uh, can cancel the funding to states. It rarely occurs. It's a theoretical possibility, but it's what we're talking about. The, the, the argument they're making is this very generalized pressure. Well, and what the about their allegation about the 2014 investigation, that they actually are being targeted by the DOE? Isn't that, isn't that the plus that you're talking about? Yes. Well, no, there must, there must, be, must be some pressure on the university. With the cases that have talked about pressure have talked about an event like that combined with particular allegations relating to the specific investigation at issue, in this case, the investigation of Mr. Schwartz. So you can see it's possible that there is enough pressure, but there's just not the plus factor to get it over the 12B6. Well, yes, but I'm saying that the pressure here, even the pressure they're talking about is this generalized pressure.